Hey guys, how you doing? Sorry about the camera there. I've just come down to Everything Electric uh, in London just to check out some of the new electric cars here and uh, I've just seen the new Ford Explorer and I know this is going to be a really big seller for Ford. So let's have a little look at it. Here we go guys. First of all, it's a beautiful colour. An ice blue. Sort of like a slightly larger C-segment SUV. Um, Really nice boot in there as well. You have a little look at the inside here as well. Fit and finish seems quite nice. I will say one thing, it's very, very dark inside. It's got a tinted uh, panoramic roof, but it's really, really dark in here. Incredibly dark. I wonder if that's sort of, you can change that, but I mean the tint, but it's very dark. So you've got a, a very sort of Ford-esque squircle kind of steering wheel there. Center screen, which is actually a little bit far away. You gotta sort of really, maybe it can be, ah, oh, it can be adjusted, I think. I think we can adjust the screen, so it's a bit, ah, oh, there we go. You can actually move the screen. It's even more further away, but it's quite clever because you can actually, it kind of reveals this little hidden storage compartment with your wireless charging pad. No, forgive me, the wireless charging pads are here. And I've just activated the hazards by closing that, so that's something that other people might probably do. <laughs> you just do that and then hit that with your finger. That's um, not the best uh, idea in the world. Climate control, sat nav, music. And then you've got your shortcut to your climate there as well. I'm just really surprised at how yeah, dark it is in here. It's really dark got a really deep really hugely cavernous storage in there but again it's really hard to see because it's pitch black in here Little central speedo panoramic roof on this uh, nice um, aluminum strip on the dashboard it's really dark and you can see in the back here as well it's kind of some sort of scratchy plastics there. One piece kind of bucket seats as well. So there's, um, guys, I really can't emphasize just how dark it is in here, but there's not really, that seat's probably a little bit too far back for me. So there's plenty of new room, but not a huge amount of fair room for the feet underneath. But again, being so dark, it's really hard to see the detail here. We sort of cross stitch seats there as well. And uh, yeah, it's very nice. It's um, nice color, ice blue. And then we can close the boot. It's electric, but I'll just give it a wee nudge there and you can sort of see the back. It's got a sort of a more flat, sort of blunted rear end on it. Um, you can sort of see there that the wheels are, look at the 19s, 20s, 20 inch wheels as well. You can sort of see from this side. It's a very nice design. Just incredibly dark. Incredibly dark. You got some sort of fabric on the dash there. It does, it keeps beeping quite a lot. Sort of a, your glove box there. You can move the screen. Yeah, it's very nice. But every time you open the trunk or the back doors, it beeps. Which just seems to be a bit weird. So there you go, guys. The new Ford Explorer. It's nice. It's um, yeah. It's not the most exciting vehicle in the world. I think it'll do exactly what it's supposed to, and it does look good. It does look really good, but it's um, hmm. I'm not sure. There you are, guys. Move on to the next one. Catch you later.